Hello students, welcome to online classes for the second year students of Kaukthiya Graduate Student College, Nursal Bell. Now, we are today Mathematics B, is a class number 24. Here students, so now we explain this uh, the tangent line equation, normal line equation, point of contact and the chord of contact and the, um, so some important uh, points in that topic. Yes, students here. So the tangent, the tangent line equation, the tangent line equation to the circle S is equal to zero at P of x1 comma y1 is S1 is equal to zero. So here this is the tangent line equation to the circle at the point of contact here. Here this is the circle S is equal to zero and the point of contact here x1 comma y1 is and then the tangent line equation is s1 is equal to 0 yes whenever we know this the radius of the circle and the slope of the tangent then the tangent line equation here so the tangent line equation the tangent line equation the equation to the circle S is equal to 0. So, with the having the slope, having the slope, yeah, is f y plus c, y plus f is equal to m of x plus c plus r minus r of root of 1 plus m square. Yes, friends, here these are the tangent and equations to the circle. Whenever we know this, the g, f and the radius of the circle and the slope of the tangent then we have to write the tangent line equation in this formula y plus f is equal to m of x plus z plus r minus r of root of 1 plus m square here students here the tangent line condition the tangent line condition the tangent line condition is r is equal to d yes a line is said to be a tangent to the circle is R is equal to D. R is the radius of the circle and D is the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle to the line. And um, students, this is the another one. So the line, yes, if Lx plus Ly plus N is equal to 0, so be a tangent, be a tangent to the circle. S is equals to x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Then, then the point of contact, point of contact coordinates here, all of x comma y is equals to minus z plus lr square by lg plus mf minus l. And here minus f plus mr squared by lg plus mf minus m. Here friends, so if a line lx plus m by plus n be a tangent to the circle, then we have find out the point of contact coordinates. Now using this um, so for coordinates here minus z plus lr squared by lg plus mf minus m minus f plus m r square by l g plus m f minus f where r is the radius of the circle and g f these are the values from the circle and l m m these are the values from the straight line and this is another one if l x plus m y plus n is equal to 0 so be a tangent tangent to the circle to the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square. Yes, here in this circle center coordinates minus z comma minus f. Here the center of this circle 0 comma 0. Yes, if lx plus m y plus n is equal to 0, be a tangent to the circle x square plus y square is equal to r square. Then the point of contact. Point of contact coordinates here. R of x comma y. Here this there is g is equal to zero, f is equal to zero. Here for g, f both are zero. This 
formula becomes here g is equal to 0 l yes l r squared by g 0 f 0 f this minus l here f is equal to 0 g f 0 this will becomes here m r squared by minus l here finally it's so a minus l r squared by l and minus m r squared by l yes students we remember this the point of contact coordinates are so on the line of the lx plus m and y plus n it to be a tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared the point of contact coordinates are minus l r squared by n minus m r squared by n here so these are the already students of we did we explained this uh, we do we done this problems based on this uh, so point of contact and the tangent line equations and that to find out the tangent line equation and the normal line equation so once again i am explaining this so here to find out the tangent line equation whenever given that the point of contact that is equal to s1 is equal to 1 and to find out the tangent line equation whenever we know this g f and the radius of the circle and having the so slope that is y plus f is equal to m of x plus z plus r minus r of root of 1 plus m square and the, the condition for a line is said to be a tangent to the circle is r is equal to r is equal to d where d the perpendicular distance from the center of the circle here to this line here this is the d and the radius if r and d both are equal the line is said to be a tangent yes and the point of form contact coordinates here lx plus my plus n is said to be a tangent to this line already so we done this uh, so point of contact uh, in previous classes here minus e plus l r squared by l g plus m f minus n minus f plus m r squared by l g plus m f minus n here if the circle in this form x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared point of contact coordinates here minus l r squared by n minus m r squared by n Students, now we are explaining this the so code of contact and the pole, polar, conjugate points and conjugate lines. Here, so first we are discussing about the code of contact. Code of contact. So, students, here this is the circle. Yes, this is equal to 0. So, if a chord of contact means if a chord is passing through the point of contacts, yes, this is x1 point P of x1 comma y1. Here we can draw the two tangents from the x1 point to the so circle. So these are the PA and PB. Here this is the circle equation. Yes, here A and B are the point of contacts. Here if a chord is passing through the so point of contact. Here this equation is called the chord of contact. Yes, the chord of contact of the x1 point with respect to the circle is given by S1 is equal to 0. Yes, students here. So the chord of contact. The chord of contact of external point. External point. P of x1 comma y1 with respect to with respect to the circle s is equal to 0 is s1 is equal to 0 yes so once again is a chord of contact means if a chord is passing through the point of contact so then this uh, chord is called the chord of contact so the chord of contact of uh, so s is equal to 0 so with respect to the, the chord of contact of x1 point p of x1 comma y1 with respect to the circle s is equal to 0 is given by the formula s1 is equal to 0 s1 means here x x1 plus y y1 plus g of x plus x1 plus f of y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0 here one second chord of contact means if a chord is passing through the point of contacts so then this chord is called the chord of contact its equation is given by the formula s1 is equal to 0 okay and another one is pole yes so pole and polar 
so the polar of the polar of p of x1 comma y1 with respect to the with respect to the circle with respect to the circle s is equal to 0 is s1 is equal to 0 the polar of p of x1 comma y1 with respect to the circle s is equal to 0 is given by s1 is equal to 0 and the pole the pole polar of the line lx plus my plus n is equal to 0 with respect to the circle with respect to the circle S is equal to 0 is given by is given by the four coordinates here. Already we know this minus g plus L R square by L G plus M F minus N and minus F plus M R square by L G plus M F minus N. Yes, these are the four coordinates and uh, the polar of the point P of x1 y1 with respect to the circle S is equal to 0 is given by S1 is equal to 0 and the pole coordinates so if a line Lx plus My plus N is a, this is the polar then the pole coordinates of uh, the polar Lx plus My plus N is equal to 0 with respect to the circle S is equal to 0 so those are the coordinates of the pole R of x comma y is given by minus z plus l r square by l g plus m f minus n minus f plus m r square by l g plus m f minus n. Now, students, now quantitative points. So, if a of x1 comma y1 and b of x2 comma y2. So, these are the two points are said to be a conjugate points. Uh, so, with respect to the circle, S is equal to 0, then the condition is given by S12 is equal to 0. S12 of the given circle is here x1, x2 plus y1, y2 plus g of x1 plus x2 plus f of y1 plus y2 plus c is equal to 0. Yes, here yeah, this is the circle s is equal to 0 yes and these are the two points here a of x1 comma y1 yes the conjugate points means yes the polar of a of x1 comma y1 yes this is the the polar of a of, this is the polar of a of x1 comma y1 with respect to this circle here this line is also passing through the point another one here b of x2 comma y2 yes b of x2 comma y2 b of x2 comma y2 and the polar of b of x2 comma y2 is so here this is the l1 is equal to 0 and l2 is equal to 0 students we observe this so l1 means this is the polar of the first point the polar of the first point is also is passing through the point b of x2 comma y2 yes and L2 means it is the polar of another point B of x2 comma y2. It is also passing through the point A of x1 comma y1. Yes, students, once again, so the two points are said to be a conjugate points with respect to the circle. Yes, one of the point, yes, A is lies on the polar of the second point, and this point B is lies on the polar of the first point. Those are A and B are called the conjugate points with respect to the circle. Yes, first, now we have to find out the condition for this. So, now, let us see, S is equal to 0, it is a circle equation. Yes, a circle equation is x square plus y square plus, so 2gx plus z2 fy plus c is equal to 0. I am writing the polar of A with respect to the circle, that is L1, yes. It is uh, L S1 is equal to 0. S1 of this circle here, x x1 plus y y1 plus g of x plus x1 plus f of y plus y1 plus c is equal to 0. Students, we observe this. Here, this is the polar of A with respect to the circle. That is x x1 plus y y1 plus g of x plus x1 plus f of y plus y1 plus c. But this polar is also passing through the another point x2 comma y2. x2 y2 is lies on this line. Yes, substituting this x2 y2. So, coordinates in this equation. 
So then x is equal to x2. This is the x1, x2 plus y1, y2 plus g of here x1 plus x2 plus f of y1 plus y2 plus c is equal to 0. Then here this is the notation is given by s12 is equal to 0. Students, the two points are said to be a congruent points with respect to the circle. So the condition is s12 is equal to 0. Congruent points means a two points are said to be a congruent points with respect to the circle. So the polar of the first point is passing through the second point or otherwise the one of the point is lies on the, the polar of the another point. Here those the conditions are satisfying, these two points are satisfying the conditions are, the two points are said to be a congruent points. Here this is the rough diagram, here L1 is there, L2 is there, L1 is the polar of the first point but the point B is lies on the L1, yes L2 is the polar of the second point but A is lies on L2. So those are A and B are called the congruent uh, so points and these lines are called the congruent points. Now here is the congruent points. Congruent lines. Yes, friends, we are now writing the condition for the two lines are said to be a congruent lines with respect to the circle. Yes, L1x plus M1y plus N1 is equal to 0 and uh, here L2x plus M2y plus N2 is equal to 0. Now these are the these two lines are said to be a congruent lines with respect to the circle S is equal to 0. The condition is yes L1g plus M1f plus N1 of minus L2g plus M2f minus N2 is equal to so R square of L1 A2 plus M1 M2. Yes, friends, this is the condition for the lines L1x plus M1y plus N1 is equal to 0, L2x plus M2y plus N2 is equal to 0. These are the lines are said to be a congruent with respect to the circle. The condition is given by L1g plus M1f minus N1 and L2g plus M2f minus N2 is equal to R square of L1 N2 plus M1 M2. Let me say